Welcome back to Trusted Nose with the man that likes to smell good. I hope you're well, in good health, and of course, smelling great, smelling tanta amazing, just smelling. So, listen, this review has been a long time coming. I've just been a little bit lazy, but nevertheless, we've got Floris's Honey Oud. Hidden gem, fragrance that deserves a little bit more respect. So, I'm ready. I hope you're ready. So let's go. I discovered Floris's Honey Oud at their event last year, around November, December. So I've had this bottle for like a year now, look how much I've used. So yeah, there I was just trying like the whole line, other influencers are there as well. But yeah, the one fragrance that really stood out to me was this Honey Oud. And to me, this is the best out of the whole house. So let me get into it. So basically this is just honey oud there's a spicy nature to it and there's like a floral like undertone but it's essentially it's just honey and oud but it's just done so well compared to like all the other honey oud combinations for example like montau yeah if it sounds like hate i'm hating right now because that montau oud honey or honey hood i've got it in my pocket here right now i don't know about that one man it's like it just I don't know, it's like too gourmand. Like I hate fragrances that are a little bit too realistic. And I don't know if there's cinnamon or something in there, but it makes me feel kind of sick. But I don't get that with Floris's Honey Oud. Like it's sweet, of course it's honey, but the sweetness is not extreme. It's not like in your face or anything like that. It's just, just at the right level that stops it from being juvenile or like young smelling or whatever. So Honey Oud comes across like elegant, classy, sophisticated, sexy, and like mature in a good way. And obviously that's how I want to present myself as well. So if you're just looking for like a good smelling fragrance, that's it, it's Honey Oud. And literally like, I know when people say like, I know with this whole like fragrance game, people are trying to smell like individual, trying to smell unique there. They use fragrance as like, um as an ex extension of their like personality or their aura or whatever. At the end of the day, you still need to smell good as well. And that's what you're gonna get with this. So I would say that like, this fragrance is for, you know what, it's for like the guy that doesn't do too much. Like he's got his shit together, he's like well dressed, he's handsome as well. Like he's in the corner, but he's not, it's not like he's being shy, but he's still like commanding attention like, the men respect him, the women love him. He's just like, he's just doing his thing and he's just got a swagger about him. So if I had to like scent a character, I'll say like, I don't know, I'll say like James Bond will wear something like this. And if I had to like liken it to a celebrity or whatever, I'll say this is, I'll say this is the Idris Elba of fragrances. Like, like the men respect him, the women love him. We'll respect the craft, we'll respect the grind that he's put in. And yeah, like he's just, living off the fruits of his labor. So yeah, the Idris Elba of fragrances. So when it comes to performance, so the performance, mm, so when I first got this performance was a little bit, mm, mm, I can't lie to you. But now, I don't know, the juice has gotten a little bit darker now, it's a little bit more potent. So average performance at the start, let it sit for like a year, maybe like seven months, it'll get a little bit better, but I would just say just above average. And I always always pray with this fragrance. Um, one thing I'll say as well, is that I forgot to tell you when I was talking about the smell, is that the oud in here isn't skanky, alamalic, fecal, anything like that. It's almost like a designer type of oud, but it's still present. And one thing I do like about this fragrance is just that, the fact that it's so like likeable as well. So the people who hate oud, like for example, my sister, she hates oud, she can detect it like straight like that. She didn't mind it, she said it was all right, it was good smelling. And I've always get like decent reactions with this fragrance as well. So that's why I wear it so much. It's like one of my like everyday fragrances. I don't have like a, I don't have a specific day-to-day um, -day fragrance, but I have fragrances that I wear all the time. And this is one of them. Um, price point, price point is healthy as well. If you get it on like a discount or sell or whatever. So I paid like 90 pounds for this 100 ml bowl. And that's basically like designer prices now anyway. So that's really good. <laughs> so 
So sum it up, what you get with this fragrance, you get this nice honey, oud, little bit spicy, mature, sexy, elegant, compliment, get in, um, oud, not too scary, you get something that is likable by the masses. And this is why I'm so confused, like people don't really chat about this fragrance. The only person I really see talk about this fragrance is Clements, yeah, shout out to her, yeah, she's got a good channel as well. But yeah, it's just like, I don't understand why it doesn't get the love, but I'm here to show it love right now. So shout out Floris for their honey oud, the best out of their whole house. But yeah, fellas, go and get your nose on it. It's masculine, but women can wear it as well, but I think it's best suited for a man. Uh, yeah, that's my take. So, if you like this video, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe. It'll be much appreciated. Also, follow me on Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter as well. You might as well. So, that's Trusted Knows. And you know what I'm going to say. More videos out soon. And of course, stay blessed.